So I'm going to quickly take you guys through basics of using a multimeter. So I'll go through voltage, continuity or resistance and current. If you can see the symbol here, a V with a line and a dotted line on top, that's volts DC. And you want to use volts DC when you're measuring batteries in New Zealand. Uh, especially car batteries, any systems in your car, it's all 12 volt DC, 24 volt in some vehicles. Um, the one above it, the V with that squiggly line above it, that's volts AC. Now this is for testing power outlets in your house, uh, anything on the AC system. So 230 volts and above. Now this ohm symbol here, this is when you're measuring resistance, I'll run you through a couple demonstrations with a meter. We don't worry about the other ones too much, especially on these kind of meters. You don't really want to get into using measuring current on these ones, because it does require you to take apart the circuit and actually physically make this part of the circuit. Uh, that's the handy thing about these clamp meters, is that you can just clamp this end, this loop, round the cable and it will read how much current the circuit is drawing, how much load has been drawn through the cable. Uh, this is especially handy for doing tail rails, underfloor heating and hot water cylinders where they've got elements that take a long time to heat up. So if you want to test that they're working, you can put this around them, see how much current they're drawing straight away and you'll know that they're going to work properly. So on this clamp meter I've got, we've got voltage here and it's both AC and DC. And you'll see it says DC on the screen. If I push the mode button, it'll change it to AC. Now this is what we measure your voltage at your home with. So first thing, put black lead in the neutral terminal, put your red lead in the phase, and it'll show 240 volts. Oh, 240 volts. Now the good thing about this is it's got a wee LED on it that lights up when it's picking up electricity running through cables and on this one you've actually got a volt detector on it too so if you put this up close to a power point or a light switch that is live it will light up red without even connecting anything to it I'm going to quickly run through continuity what we use continuity for is finding cables that we don't know where the hell they go and we can trace them anywhere providing the cable goes back through other power points or through the switchboard. So if we put it on ohms, I'll push the mode button on here. It'll have that wee sound icon. And that means now when it picks up continuity, when a circuit is closed or complete, it'll make a beep. So I'm going to show you a demonstration of using this beep to find a cable. So here we have two white cables with three white cores. Now we want to be able to distinguish what which core is which. So we can use this to find what core is what. So if we put the black lead on the far left core and we try and distinguish what ca cable it ends up being. So it's the one on the far right, on the right hand side. In the middle one is the one on the left and that one's obviously going to be the middle one and you can label these I'm not going to bother doing it what's handy is this cable's short as and you wouldn't be probably well you never know you might be doing using it on these kind of cables in cars but for in a house the cables generally 30 odd meters long if it's an old cable and it could be broken so this is another trick we do. We go to one end of the cable, twist all the cores together, and then we go to the switchboard, put one end on the earth, and then one end on one of the phases, and we can find that cable really fast. So one end to go on the earth bar, and we just go through the bottom of the circuit breakers to find what cable's got a short on it. Obviously the power will be isolated. So I've had to re-record this resistance testing part. It was pretty crap. So what you want to do is throw your meter onto ohms and it'll come up with the symbol OL. 
which means open loop. That means there is a breakage in the cable <coughs> or in the system. What I'm going to show you a demonstration on is this cable. Now in your house they'll probably be like 30, 40 meters long, not a short little one like this, but for the sake of this video I'll just show you a short one. So we've got our two cable ends there, we've got our meter here, and if we were to connect both the ends, let's say for instance I'm touching them both and it came up with OL, open loop, it means the cable's broken. So maybe a rat's chewed it, or someone's cut through it, builder. <laughs> nah, um, maybe it's been cut through doing renovations. That might be why it's not working, that's why you'd be using this test. If we connected these for real, you'd want to see a resistance of close to zero. I should say an earth resistance no greater than 0.5 ohms. So this cable we're on zero. Oh, it fell off. So eight zero. So the longer your cable, obviously the more resistance. That's why over distance we use thicker cables. I'm going to go through current now with you guys. Okay, I've turned the lights off. So I hope you can see this. Since we're drawing low current, we're going to put it on the 40 amps AC rating. And we're going to hook it around one of these cables that we want to make sure that our load is drawing current. So we can flick the switch on. and it comes up with 0.15 amps. So we can tell that this circuit is working because it's drawing current. Uh, the, we, we wouldn't use this on lights because we can instantly tell that lights work when you flick the switch on. What it would be used for is if we're connecting up a hot water cylinder and we're just liven the elements up. Uh, if we've connected a towel rail or under floor heating, we can instantly find out whether it's drawing current or not and how much current it's drawing so we know it's working without having to wait hours for it to warm up. Make sure you guys subscribe and if there's anything you're stuck on, need help with or want to know how to do something, write it down in the comments and I'll get around to doing a video for you. Cheers.